Hi, what's up guys? Kids here for another Nino Kuni Cross Worlds video and today we're going to talk about the server merge and all the other updates that it had with it. But first of all, you might notice that I have a different colored hair. Well, a few shenanigans happened in my Twitch stream which resulted in this so yeah. <laughs> if you were hanging out during my Twitch streams then you know what happened but the video is delayed that's why I haven't been able to upload for a while. But anyway, let's... Go ahead and start with this. By the way, twitch.tv slash gsgg. We covered all the changes earlier today live as soon as the servers went up. Okay, so let's start with what happened. First, with the server merge. Of course, we've shown you the list before already and the server merge has been live. You should have been merged with three other servers. World chat has been very, very lively and it's been very, very fun. So yeah, you can actually just stay in your world chat and watch all the fun happen. But of course, first things first, you're going to check your rankings. Uh, rankings for our, our server is still the same from before. You just have a new kingdom that's coming up to the top over here. But of course, there's going to be new balance. But anyways, the top three in the server is still the same. Not much happened here. So just check out the tps of everyone here and of course kingdom rankings as well so we bumped up to rank number seven from being number three four usually so we're now number seven which is good which is still a good number and of course there's going to be something much better when you see that being in the top 10 kingdoms is going to be rewarding <laughs> in a way okay so basically that's the new stuff of course if you go to crossfields it's going to be reset as well their server ranking everyone's at zero and what else uh familiar arena changes as well you saw the familiar arena changes that we will we will be receiving 30 percent more rewards if you look at the weekly ranking this was previously around 4,000 as the right for top 100 and now there's actually top one percent so it's actually possible to get to top one percent now as soon as you drop off top 100 and it's actually not even that close right so if i win like two more fights i'll be back into top 100 but this is good this is a good change because all the people in the top 100 will not be counted in the top percentile okay so this means that everyone from rank 101 i guess one 101 to 110 probably is the top one percent so it's a really really good change and of course if you look at the rankings it just counted your total total points so have whoever has the high scores, high points, they will you will just be re-ranked with the server that you got merged with. So yeah, I guess that's about it for server merge changes. Of course, field boss channels went up a little bit, but I don't like the people that we got merged with. These guys are kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing this. Um, they went to during field boss, they went to Mecha Dragon right away. The problem with doing that. We only have four channels in Mecha Aragon because they rushed Mecha Aragon instead of doing the normal route of going um, SB, Silverbeard, Vulcan into Giganti, Stelia, Mecha Aragon, and then Kalia. The problem is if these people will start with Mecha Aragon, we'll have four channels there and look at the difference here. We have nine channels here. We have seven channels here, right? These, are, these guys are crazy. Six channels here. So they're just griefing the whole server. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why these guys are just crazy like that. But anyways, um, let them be, right? They will confirm. I mean, this is the first time that we had a field boss. So hmm? we'll see. We'll see, right? Okay, so that's it for the server change. Next, we're going to look at the new episode dungeon, Fated Challenge Cards. First time that you go here, you'll be doing your reputation quest over here. So once you complete everything here that's available, this will now unlock. So you have your normal dungeon over here and you have your chance dungeon over here. Chance dungeon is very interesting because it's a new one. It has been added just for this episode. So this one unlocks 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. PH time, this is Asia time. So convert it on your respective time zones. The difference with this one is the chance ones have the challenge cards so basically it has the shadow bead challenge and i think dark star challenge so it's not much it's not much um difference um it's going to be a, li a little just a little a bit harder than the 
the normal one. Basically, the strat for the episode dungeon is to try to kill the minions first if you can't ready really boss, uh, burst down the boss. Okay, so always try to go for the minions first. When when he summons the minions, go for the minions first. Okay, so that's the easy way to easiest way to actually defeat it because it's actually gaining a little bit of damage resistance whenever they have minions. Whoa, it hurts. Bro. That's annoying. Medyo nakakainis yung may kampi siya. Yung magiging challenge, mag mukha magiging challenge ngayon pag lumabas na yung challenge dungeon na ito. Kailan mo patayin yung alagad niya eh. Nakakainis to. Ito unahin. Yes, nakakainis na. Oh, oh. Damn, I can't imagine hard mode hard mode for this one. Going to be really hard actually. Kill this thing first. actually need strong teammates for this one man low levels it's not gonna work having low levels in the team Okay, that's an okay number of CP. Oh no, no reset. Okay. Can reset. <laughs> 
I thought it was gonna reset. Oh no. Oh god. So that's why you have to dodge those orbs. Okay, nice. Let's see the rewards. Right, let's open it. Nice, and that's one card that we can use in the normal or, well, the summon dungeons, right? Okay, pretty good. So we just have to run it two more times. All right, next part here is the Void Beast summon. So Void Beast is where you can use your summon stones to summon monsters that you can beat 1v1 so this is just a one-on-one -on -one battle battle with a boss and here you can also get cards i think this is where you use the challenge cards right? these things so having additional challenge cards will help you get more rewards from doing the void beast summon so there's also one star two star beast summons so just do it when you can and as much as possible do it whenever you have cards okay so the cards you can get from the void beast summon and from the chance dungeon over here where is it? it's this thing all right so you can get it from the gift box over here all right so yeah that's the first part for the episode dungeon and then of course you have your episode guidebook first things first you're going to get a bug with this one that this first region is going to be disabled or you can't get it only um, fastest way to try to fix that is to try to go back to character select screen and then try to re-log in okay that's the easiest way to actually do that and then going back to the episodes over here we have your relic skills as well again so whenever you defeat the normal dungeons you're going to gain xp and you'll gain skill points to spend on the skill tree over here um i haven't checked uh, these things yet uh, movement speed attack speed is really good for the dungeon but of course yeah basic attack damage increase on tier 3 is really good and of course prioritize attack over here well all the tier 1s are always going to be the prior priorities because these stats will be applied to your character even if you're outside the serious dungeon okay and then we have the episode pass we also reviewed this one during stream so i think you're going to get three biscuits from the normal one or from not buying and if you buy it i think it's still really good you will receive one right away one sunshine over here and of course there's a rare higgle d hiring certificate at the end and i think we have around 50 jellies 50 jellies and i think around 13 uh warding dolls okay 30 summon coupons as well familiar summon coupons 10 equipment and 10 costume okay so i think it's pretty worth if you really want to get it. okay and it's pretty good uh, so far i was not able to find any exploitable um xp reward here on the quest so yeah let me know if you find something in the comments below okay <laughs> okay so i think that's all for the fated challenge cards for now so now we also have the kingdom academy so basically kingdom academy is a new thing that's been added so for any new soul divers or any new players that are below level 80 they will be able to enter this kingdom called the kingdom academy so it's going to function same like your usual kingdom but with added surprises or rewards which i don't know what they are because i i'm not a newbie you can just check it out if you are new okay so it's a new stuff Next, we have New Familiar. So I reviewed this one on my previous video. The New Familiar, Floaty Doki. Um, he's actually really good for PvP. Right? PvP-wise, crit rate and crit damage. I already discussed this. But anyway, per Darkness, Familiar crit rate. So that's for a week one. A 
at awake 3, I think that's 3%. Yes, and at awake 7, that's 4%. Right, so imagine having relics, Arachnes, and Floaty Doki. That's already a plus 12% crit rate increase and a minimum of 246% crit rate increase and crit damage at 12%. Well, not really. 8% increased crit damage at Awaken 1. At Awaken 3, you get it at 14%. And Awake 7 is, I think, 20%, right? So that's actually huge. That's huge for the passive. And for the active skill, you're going to just be dealing additional damage to the enemies each for each basic attack that you're doing. So I think overall, it's a really, really strong familiar for PvP especially combining it with Arachnes and uh, Relics as well. So those two are already very good in PvP. Include this guy, then whales are going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Next, we have the new mount. So the new mount, Heji, is down here with it. Here you go, and stat info, his HP crit resist. Wait, is that crit resist? No, it's just crit and accuracy. Okay, um, he's pretty cute as well, but... I'm free to play, not gonna buy. <laughs> and we also have new costumes, Milky Way costumes. So just check it out if your character actually suits them. I think all the costumes are actually really good uh, this time around. So, I mean, if you like the costumes, go ahead and get them. New events. Okay, so let's go over the new events over here. This thing, okay. So the world's most powerful. Basically, this is a kingdom. A related event rank number one will be receiving 15 dingo ambers if they are the rank number one after the time here has ended okay so you have 14 days to recruit the strongest people in the new merge server okay so rank one will be receiving 15 dingo ambers uh, i don't remember for the others i think rank two and three will be receiving probably half so it's 10 dingo ambers for rank Two and three and then rank four to ten is five dingo ambers so that's why it was really good for us to still be staying in the rank or top 10 so we're rank number seven i'm not sure if it's a it's possible for us to still get to two or three kind of hard to get there but you know we're up there so we're still going we're possibly still going to get um five dingo ambers especially for people that still does not have dingoes in our kingdom Next up, we have Sunshine Power Up event that's over here as well. Basically, this is just you awakening your sunshine that you get from the episode dungeon. Okay, and then we have the Burning Heart Exchange. So this one's very, very fun. <laughs> During my stream, everyone was just going wild on uh, alchemy, on the genie. Okay, so if you had the chance, better go, go to genie to get all the bubbling hearts that you can. So just roll all your tickets. If you're wondering how to get more tickets or you have no idea how to get more tickets basically just use your this one um varnishes for tickets right because you're not really going to use this much six thousand uh, i don't think you're going to use that much for your armors right now because mostly all our armors are already max leveled right so you can use these ones for tickets if you're running out of tickets okay so that's just all in the few spots and what's interesting is that, of course, this is a rare accessory box. Okay, so it's a random one, but still rare. Next one is a selection chest for skills. So it's really good for me, especially to get more levels on my healing branches or probably... No, it's not. It's repulsion. Really bad. <laughs> you have here also um, dolls and the one here for four star to rare four star familiar capsule. Uh, I was unlucky with this one. I was able to get a copy of Penguicorn. I was able to get my Penguicorn a week 7. But it's not good. Not good at all. Oh, we have this thing as well. So 7 day quests or missions that you want to do. So just do them daily. Alright, I failed to mention how you can actually get the coupons. This thing. Coupons for the urchin coupon shop. Basically just have to kill monsters daily. You'll be able to get a total of 120 per day so that's basically it how you can get more of this one so 120 per day and you'll be able to buy everything on the shop most likely hey it's okay it's already gone <laughs> he just came back 
Huh? Wow, everyone actually missed this guy. Oh, okay, and he's up again. Oh, 700? Spam! Come on! Give me that 700. Wow. Wow! It's so fast! <laughs> Yo, people are crazy. What the heck? How much do I have already? Can you see it somewhere? 46. Okay, let's just wait, wait for him. Let's go! Let's go! Spam, spam, spam. I have just 4,000 tickets. Oh no. Oh, okay. We're done. Can I go to a different channel? Wow, nine channels! This is great. This is great. Oh, there's already people here as well. Oh, it's open. Crazy. Okay, and then we wait. <laughs> okay, let's let's spam this while people are actually here. Because if once the server dies down again, we won't get much of this again. Wow, that's so fast. Open, open. Oh, it's not gold. It's not there. Oh, fuck. That's up. That sucks. Why did I get pink corn? Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for the update today. So let me know how you guys are enjoying the new people in your server. So it's been pretty lively so far in our server so pyro corrupts what's up guys shout out to everyone and to all the people that wants to get pk'd by me i mean just look for my character and get <laughs> you know oh, no, no 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 just kidding i mean you can just go to my character and try try to probably hit me because i'm usually just on neutral so i don't know try to find me haha <laughs> anyways I, I don't want to issue that challenge because someone is going to probably do it anyways uh, that's it for me let me know in the comments below what you think of the merge personally i like it especially for the familiar arena change as well of course it's going to be much harder but you know you we are still going to be compensated and there's more asteroid rewards for everyone anyways that's it for me thank you very much for watching like subscribe if you haven't yet see you again next time Bye bye